Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is restaurant table reservation app video series and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Azure CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network and we're going to see how to set up the CDN in Azure and how we can leverage the website to be performing much faster. Come let's get started. On my screen. In the previous video, we already pushed all the content inside the asset folder to the Microsoft Azure storage account and we also saw how to put that storage account link to this HTML so we can make use of our website calling all the static files from the Azure storage account. Now we are going to make use of those content and push that to CDN. I will recap what we did in the previous video because that's important for this video to continue. If you have not seen the complete video, please go and watch the previous video. If not, this will be the high level overview of the previous video and then followed by the content delivery network setup. So what we did in the previous video, we, we created a storage account and then we created the containers inside the containers. We pushed all the content that is served for our website. Now the container is the public level access. Make sure you have that public level access. And once you pushed all the content here and we did it through the Azure storage explorer. It was easy for us to just drag and drop all the content inside and we were able to push it at one shot. Now once you're done with that, you can go to any of these files and then like you can actually go to this file, take the URL and then based on the URL, you can actually replace the content location. So we replaced this content link instead of just slash assets because it is no more saved from the local asset folder. Now that's it. We are done with this and in order to get the complete uh, code I mean in order to get uh, no errors in the uh, files that is getting downloaded we go to settings we go to resource sharing and we also added a star and then we opted for get an option a load header star exposed header star and we gave it 200 seconds so this is all required a kind of a pre setup that was required for us to get the static files served from the Azure storage now here comes the CDN. So what we do, we go to the storage account. Let's go to the overview. Okay. Now all what we are going to do is all about the content delivery network setup. So first of all, what is content delivery? So first of all, what is content delivery network? So now let's take a 45 seconds of a quick look of what is content delivery network because that's very important. Have you ever wondered how websites load so fast? It all works because of the CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. It's like a web op, super fast servers all around the world. Okay, so what is the magic of CDN? So it's lightning fast loading time, better website performance and stronger security. Now here is how it works. CDN stores copy of your website content on servers in various locations. When a user visits your site, they get served from the nearest server, including reducing the latency. Now, like big names like, you know, the Netflix, Amazon, Facebook, name any big companies. They completely rely on CDN for the seamless streaming and fast shopping and quick social interaction. Why do CDN matters? They cut loading time, handle traffic spikes during the Black Friday sales or any big event that happens and enhances the user experience. So in short, CDN accelerates the website and it's much better performance. So now you know what is CDN, why CDNs are used. So what we are going to do is, let's imagine this website is now basically having the content served from this location, right? So now on our, instead of downloading these content for every single user from this location, physical location, what we are going to do is, we are going to route all the CSS, JS files, all the static files through the CDN, so Content Delivery Network. So which means when I host this in my particular region, you locating it from UK, India, US, anywhere in this globe, right? So based on where you are located, if you hit this endpoint, the CDN located across various globe, right? The CDN that is located across the globe will kick in and will serve all those files to your place very fast instead of literally downloading it from the place where this is sitting in the US location. So it'll be faster, right? So that's the whole purpose of this. 
Now, let's take a look how to do it. So now if you come to this left side of the storage account, you scroll all the way through down. Okay, under security plus networking, you see this something called front door and CDN. Click on that and it will be easy to set up through the storage account. You can actually set up this front door and CDN from the regular place also like for example, front door and CDN profile. You can choose like this as well. Both are going to be literally same. The visual effects that you choose on each screen is going to be different. So if I have to go through like this, I can choose these options and then I can fill up all these things. I can, it's literally almost same, right? So uh, this is what we are going to do in a, in a better way. So let's go to storage account. Let's go and pick up our storage account, this one. And let's go to CDN profile. Okay, so now here, here is the thing. So what you have to do is see the recommended is Azure friend door, not the CDN. Okay, so choose the one which is recommended and we're going to create a new profile and or we can use the existing profile. So now I already created one profile that's what's showing up here, but let's go with new one because when you do, it will be new. So profile name gives something meaningful. So I'm going to name this as, so I will name this as table booking site with the dash. That's what it is allowed and then endpoint. Here's the thing, you need to specify an endpoint name, okay? Once you specify, it will give you the complete URL. So let's specify, so I'm going to name as table reservation assets. See, the moment I specify this, it formed a unique URL, okay? This is what the subdomain under which it will be hosted. So let's assume this, okay? Now you can choose your storage account. Okay, so I'm going to choose this storage account because we are doing this friend door here, right? So that's why this storage account name is coming. So I'll choose this and then you can you can actually create the friend door standard or the premium for this demo purpose. Just the standard is enough. Premium will have more extra security and all those optimization thing. But let's choose this one. And then these two basically, if you enable caching, it'll ask you what kind of caching it has to do. For example, can I use the query string caching? So based on the query string that comes for each assets, it will cache. If the query strings are different, it will consider as different, different uh, URL, unique URL, and it will cache those content accordingly. But actually we don't need caching here. So I'm going to disable this. All right, so now this is enough. Now I can create a profile. So once the profile is created, it is submitting for deployment. It will be done in few seconds. Okay, so the deployment is done. So we will go back to our profile. So it's getting, it's almost done. So let's go here, let's go to storage account. Let's go to our storage demo. And if I minimize this, let's go to CDN. All right, uh, once that is created, it will come up here. It will show up here. I think it is still getting created. Okay, so now it is getting created. It is created. Okay, so now, once the Azure CDN is been set up, the friend door set up, you can still go to the security network for the same storage account, go inside this, and then it will load here, whatever the profile that you've been set up, okay? So more than one profile you can create, but in general, in organization, they will create because each profile will have its own settings, like, you know, the WAF enabled, the caching enabled for different, different profile. So based on uh, those things, uh, you know, for a different project, it will be used or for different purpose, it will be served. Now, all what we have to do was, so remember this, this is how it works. So if you go to containers, go to assets or anything, any containers, right? If you go to, for example, image and uh, let's take, uh, so let's go to, uh, assets and uh, image custom you see this this image if you click on this dining table uh, any of the image right so if you copy this this will be like this so your storage account name url of that storage account followed by the path of the image file all what we have to do is we have to come to this cdn that we created and then if you go to the profile you see this, this is the new CDN URL. Now what we are saying is, we are saying, don't go and get that image from that location. Instead, you go from here. So if I copy this and paste it and hit it, you see the same image has been loaded. So I'll tell you what happens, right? 
all the images the cdn will now first time capture when the first time it goes through this route all these images will be captured the second time when you refresh it will be in like nanoseconds you cannot even see it is happening it will be super fast so what we are going to do we are going to take this as the cdn location and i will go here instead of this location all what we do we will copy this find it replace it with replace it with this looks we didn't copy it so let's go i'm going to copy this okay i'm going to paste it here okay so we are replacing this with this one and we'll replace this close it now instead of serving these files from the azure blob storage it is going to go through the cdn when this request is hit it will hit the cdn and cdn will in turn hit the storage account get the data store it locally next time when you hit it will be served from the cdn now let's save this and let's already running this okay so i'm going to run this one more time see we are able to get all the data let me go here and prove you that we changed the location to go through the cdn you see this this is the cdn url this is not the previous url okay so this is how the cdn is cdn is going to work and um, you can have multiple profiles for the cdn so if let's go and explore quickly right so if you click on this see it has default route so it is telling basically this is the endpoint somebody will hit and they will eventually go to the path which is matching this so any containers within this it will automatically put it okay so that's how it will redirect the traffic and then uh, this is how the front door cdn works in azure and this is going to boost our website performance much faster and uh, i hope you enjoy this video you know something good today and uh, i'm trying to do better and better in the videos that uh, of the same concept that we're doing and uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to come back and watch other videos and till that signing off see you in the next video guys thanks for watching If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding